In 1902, George William von Zedlitz is just the fifth professor to be appointed at Victoria University, where I'm standing uh, here today. Hey, uh, he was professor of modern languages, and he was born in he was born in what was then Germany up until 1945 uh, in a town called uh, Hermann's Waldo. Apology if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, the town uh, is, of course, today um, um, Godsno in Poland. But prior to 1945, it was actually part of Germany. Now, now this is going to be uh, important a bit later on. Fast forward to 1915. It's now the midst of World War One, which of course New Zealand played a significant role. And the New Zealand government is trying to protect itself and New Zealand from what it determined were alien enemies basically all of the countries they were fighting against. And a huge part of this involved passing a, a large number of bills and legislation that basically uh, imposed restrictions and prohibitions uh, upon the inhabitants of those countries. Well, or at least people who, who had at some point uh, lived in those countries. In 1915, one of the legislations the New Zealand government passed was the Alien Enemy Teachers Act. This prohibited anybody who had at any time lived in one of the countries they determined as the enemy from, from being employed in any kind of teaching position anywhere in New Zealand, whether it was primary, secondary, tertiary, it didn't matter. If you had lived in one of those countries, which included Germany, you could not be employed as a teacher. Now this obviously causes problems for Mr Von Zedlitz. Despite having an English mother and being raised in the UK, he was of course still born in Germany and lived for some time in Germany. And this was enough for the government to have him removed from his post in 1915. Then, although the university did not want him to be removed from his post, they very much advocated for him to remain here, there was nothing they could do. It was the law. It's debated to this day among historians whether or not von Zedlitz was also one of the many Germans who was actually put in prison on Soames Island for some time, purely for the fact of him being German. Now, yes, what happened to Mr von Zedlitz and people were like him was probably a little bit unfair, but when there's a war on, you have to make sacrifices in order to protect yourself against the enemy. And sometimes that does mean that innocent people have to bear the brunt of it. That's just an unfortunate reality of being at war. Unfortunately for Mr von Zedlitz, things didn't really improve after the war. Opinions and politics had changed, and also uh, the Alien Enemy Teachers Act wasn't repealed until the late 1920s, and thus he never actually got his job back here at the university. However, in the 1930s he was made a Professor Emeritus, and and he continued to live in New Zealand, uh, mainly over in Hutt Valley, until he died in 1949. His legacy, though, still lives on. Uh, as one of the first professors of this university, uh, he does have a portrait uh, that was painted uh, of him. It's located uh, just outside uh, of this building, in the Hugh McKenzie building, next to a portrait uh, of Hugh McKenzie, the first English professor of this university. But I'll tell you, though, what's located next to the Hugh McKenzie building. This building that I'm standing in now, con constructed in 1979, this is Victoria University's Von Zedlitz building. Yes, yes, this building is named after him. And, and rather appropriately, one of the departments that it houses is the Languages Department.